Dear viewers, hi, I am Dr. Jasmi Kaur Vadva, Senior Consultant at Sri Balaji Action Medical Institute. I am Pediatric Pulmonologist, Bronchoscopist and Allergist at Sri Balaji Action Medical Institute. I am managing patients with childhood asthma, allergies, with a recurrent history of respiratory distress, chest infection, which keep on coming to our clinic and to our center and they are really not able to manage and what to do next. So I am here to support them and to diagnose a right path for childhood asthma, their allergies and their chest infection. Here in this department, I am doing a spirometry or a pulmonary lung function test of children just about 3 to 4 years of the age with a specialized test machine. This generally diagnoses childhood asthma. It tells us is the problem obstructive or it will be going to relieve with bronchodilators or some puff or some medicine. So we are doing a pulmonary lung function test which is a pulmonary function test in a very young child just about 3 to 4 years of the age and able to diagnose the childhood asthma very early so that the symptoms are totally controlled. This is an important test. Along with this, I am also doing a skin prick allergy test in children which can be done above 2 to 5 years of the age group at any point of time. This is done on those children who are having a lot of allergies in the form of skin, in the form of rhinitis, uh, recurrent cough and they are having an eye allergy level, an IG level. They are generally said that ki bhai, uh, to, cold to chest mein chali gai, sab kya kare. those who are having high allergy levels we are actually uh, doing a specialized skin prick test on the child's arm and forearm which is totally safe on the OPD basis. This is also done in our department at Sri Balaji Action Medical Institute. So this is all safe procedures which actually diagnosed a child who is having recurrent wheezing. Jaysay kehte na ki chhati chalti hai, zukam laga rehta hai, bar bar nimonia bigarta hai. For those, it's very important to diagnose if the child is having an asthma or a bronchitis or any allergic problem or there is a pneumonia. One more test we do, I do in this department which can be done above any age group and maybe in the newborn even the above one month of the age or three months of the age in those children who are having chest pneumonia. Those having who are a patch in the chest and they are not recovering because of the normal antibiotics so in that, it might be having some pneumonia or tuberculosis. So it is done with a very specialized way by doing a flexible fibro optic bronchoscopy. This bronchoscopy in this, what we do, that we put a tube inside the nose of the child and it goes into the airways. From there, we suck out the suction or the, uh, the, the sputum, which is uh, clogged, clogging the child airways. And it might be because of some bacteria or because of the tuberculosis which is causing problem to the child. So this is the way we take out the sputum of the baby and go it for analysis. This also helps the child to take off the pneumonia. So this is a very specialized test which is, is a bronchoscopy test which is actually not done in West Delhi anywhere but in Sri Balaji action with a very fine instrument which I am using in the department. So coming to the childhood asthma. First of all viewers, very important that asthma is not a taboo. If your parents, if a child, uh, anybody in the family is having some form of allergies in the form of bar bar zukam hota hai, chiki aati hai, zuk or some other the difficulty in breathing, maybe in the father, maybe in the mother, maybe in the grandparent, it is not contagious, but it can be genetically transmitted to your child. Your child might have the problem or may not have the problem. So what to do in that case? So even if your child is having recurrent cough, cold every year and he's just fine for say 15 or 20 days or even a month and he's not gaining weight properly. So I would suggest you that you should, the child should work up for tuberculosis, maybe for, sorry, uh, for the asthma purpose. And uh, if he's above 3 or 4 years of age, we are doing spirometry and I myself do the test. And we repeat the test after giving some medication and we diagnose that the child is having some form of asthma. Now once the asthma is diagnosed, then some form of nebulizers or puff or through a very specialized pacers are given to the child and they are taught to the parents how to take the puff or the medicine. Now these puffs when started, they are actually not a taboo. They will not be lifelong. They will not uh, spoil the child's lung. 
they will be helpful for the child to uh, basically uh, decrease the inflammation and the obstruction in the child airways by giving that puff in a proper technique which will actually get rid of this problem. So if they are given for say 6 months to 1 year according to the dose which we suggest or we after doing a pulmonary lung function test then only we can say that the childhood uh, asthma can be controllable. The puff can be given in an appropriate doses through a spacer or a mask. If a young child is coming below 4 years of the age or below 3 years of the age, in that case we are not doing able to do a spirometry but then also we diagnose them with a proper clinical acumen and the physical examination and in days only we find that if the child is having the allergic problem, say the cold is going to the chest and it's causing bad pneumonia, then in the with a puff and we teach them how to take it properly, maybe in few months or six months they get rid of the problem. So childhood asthma, my friends, is not a taboo. It has to be managed properly. It first of all it has to be diagnosed. Most of our children are just on nebulizers, nebulizers and nebulizers. Mother is coming up, getting up in the morning and she's just ready to nebulize the child. Sometimes the child put a mask, some child doesn't. And the, even the child, the, the medicine is not going to the lungs properly. So this is also not right. Sometimes the oral medicines he is just taking in and in and the problems are repeatedly going on and on and on. So in this case, please, you have to consult a very pediatric pulmonologist who actually diagnose the child is having an asthma or something or maybe an allergy which are causing this problem. So in that case, we need to do, we need to give him a specific medicines in the form of spacer, puff, nebulizers and oral medicines and most of the children recover. In fact, 30% of the children are having this problem and they are recoverable 99 to 100%. And there are no side effects, there is no taboo, they are generally fine and this childhood asthma recovers. This is not like an adult old asthma, like a patient is eating, then you have to be able to get my children, you have to be able to get my children, you have to be able to get my The childhood asthma is totally controllable. Along with that, we screen for the, some allergies. Say if some child is having skin rashes from the very beginning. Janam se, ya six months, ya one year of the age se, wo se wo rashes hote hain, itching rehti hai body mein, maa parishan hai, wo powders bhi laga rahe, ointment bhi laga rahe, oil bhi laga rahe, nahi thik ho raha hai. in that case, we should screen them for atopy. Koi allergy to nahi hai. So that also we do with a skin allergy testing. We put some aero allergen on the skin of the baby and we just touch it. It can be done above two years of the age. If they are sensitized some indoor allergen, say if there is dust mite, or there is house dust, or there is a food product, so that comes into the picture in, in that 15-20 minutes, we get a reaction in the OPD basis. We can diagnose which allergen is causing this problem. And it can be, be uh, after taking proper precautions, this allergies can be ward off and the child can be properly treated with some oral medicines also. So in this way, those uh, procedures which are actually available in UK, US, all over India also, we are actually doing the specialized procedures over here, which are diagnosing the childhood allergies, the asthmas, and we are able to control them in a near, in fact, get rid of it. So very, very important, please don't hesitate if the child, is, uh, if any doctor say that he is developing asthma, it is totally treatable and totally controllable with appropriate doses of medicine and with the, some specialized test which we do in this pediatric pulmonology department. These are the pulmonary function test or a spirometry. If a child is above 4 years, he is able to blow, so he has to just blow into an instrument and then we get some 5 to 6 lung function test, we repeat them and we diagnose it. It can be done in any age group. Along with that, if he requires allergy testing, can also be done on the OPD basis. And if a child is having, say, a lot of pneumonia, uh, uh, chest problems in the form of respiratory discriminatory, there's some patches on the chest, there's a family history of tuberculosis, then we should, we should also screen them by doing a very fine, good in, uh, test in the form of bronchoscopy, which I am doing it over here on the, uh, uh, when the we get admitted on the daycare basis also. And it is done in the bronchoscopy room. And we keep on doing these tests and children are benefited. The parents are getting rid of the problem of pneumonia because many of the children actually are wrongly diagnosed with asthma also. So in that case, 
we should not give them over treatment we should diagnose why the pneumonia is there sometimes the pneumonia is because of reflux means the child keep on vomiting and because of that the patient goes into that we should give them proper medication and not the over treatment of asthma so they are generally admitted we do a bronchoscopy procedure and then do a, because of that procedure probably some symptom uh, secretions we take it out and we send it for analysis in 48 hours to 72 hours we get the report and accordingly the treatment is given so in this way recurrent pneumonia problem also goes off so this is very important along with that there are so many children who are neurologically deficit kisi ko dimag se bhi kaam nahi kar rahe hote hain kam kaam kar rahe hote hain unko bhi bar bar secretions pull karte hain aur chhati mein jaate hain aur log unko generally dama karke isko treat kar rahe hote hain to wo bhi ek pneumonia hota hai jo hame treat karna hota hai specialized tarike se along with that uh, childhood asthma mein kitne se bade bacche bhi hote hain to hum unke case mein rota capsule ko use karte hain तो हमने बहुत ज़्यादा तरीके से लोगों में अवेयरनेस करी है अभी हमने पीछे वर्ल्ड एस्मा डे एंड वर्ल्ड एस्मा वीक सेलिब्रेट किया है श्री बालाजी एक्शन में और उसमें हमने अपने पूरी टीम के साथ अलॉन्ग विद दी अदर टीम ऑफ दी मार्केटिंग एंड द अदर टीम ऑफ दी बालाजी वी हैव एक्चुअली डन अ वेरी गुड स्केल का एक डॉक्टर्स को पढ़ाया है इसके बारे में कि चाइल्ड एस्मा को कैसे डायग्नोज करना है उसको कैसे ट्रीट करना है और हमने एक वर्क स्टेशन लाइव दिया है जिसमें हमने पेश डॉक्टर्स को बताया है कि ये ये दवाइयाँ हम बच्चों को कि इसको आप एक टैबू समझ के मत करिए हमारे देश में एलर्जीज हैं पर वो एलर्जीज बाहर के देशों से बहुत कम हैं बाहर के देशों में मैं अभी भी कुछ पेशेंट्स से बात करती हूँ ऑन वीडियो कॉलिंग एंड मैंने ये देखा है कि उनमें बहुत ज़्यादा एलर्जीज खाने से भी हैं हमारे यहाँ पर हम सुरक्षित हैं पर हाँ मैं आई वुड लाइक टू सजेस्ट यू पीपल दैट डोंट गिव जंक फूड टू योर चिल्ड्रन डोंट गिव से चिप्स एंड चॉकलेट्स एंड मतलब दिस इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द चाइल्ड शुड गेट रेड ऑफ इट अब बिकॉज बिकॉज ऑल दीज आर इरीटेड ये हमारे गले में ज़्यादा इरीटेट करेंगे और जिन बच्चों को प्रॉब्लम होगी वो बढ़ जाएगी सो दिस इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दे शुड बी गेट रेड ऑफ ऑल टाइप ऑफ चिप्स चॉकलेट्स जंक फूड एंड वेरी ओकेजनली वी शुड गिव दैम हमें उनका और भी ज़्यादा ध्यान रखना है किस समय पे फेबररी मार्च अप्रैल जो पोलन सीजन होता है और अराउंड विद दैट सितंबर अक्टूबर नवंबर सो दैट इज़ माई वी टेल एवरी पेरेंट्स टू सेलिब्रेट अ ग्रीन दिवाली इंस्टेड ऑफ द दिवाली फुल ऑफ क्रैकर्स एंड ड्यूरिंग द मंथ ऑफ फेबररी मार्च अप्रैल इफ एनी चाइल्ड इज हैविंग रिकरेंट प्रॉब्लम वेजिंग वेजिंग का मतलब समझते हैं सांस में आवाज़ आना ऐसे करके वो भी एक गलत चीज़ है जो कभी कभी भी आती है तो इसका मतलब सांस में कोई रुकावट हो रही है और हमें उसके लिए एक स्पेशलिस्ट की ज़रूरत है हमें उसकी राय लेनी बहुत ज़रूरी है और हमें एक लंग टेस्ट कराना ज़रूरी है जिसकी वजह से हम उनको प्रॉपर दवाई देते हैं अगर स्पेशलिस्ट जैसे हम लोग कहते भी हैं कि दमा थोड़ा थोड़ा डेवलप हो रहा है और इसके लिए आपको पफ की ज़रूरत है तो इसमें कोई और मास्क को लगा के पफ को देते हैं और अगर चार या पाँच साल से बड़े बच्चे हैं तो विदाउट मास्क स्पेसर के साथ भी दवाई दी जा सकती है इट कैन बी गिवन टिल 18 इयर्स ऑफ द एज ग्रुप इवन बियॉन्ड समटाइम अब ट्वेल्व ऑफ फोर्टीन ईयर्स ऑफ द एज ग्रुप वेन द चाइल्ड इज वेल एंड हैविंग माइल्ड प्रॉब्लम सम कैप्सूल इज ऑल्सो गिवन टू इनहेल वेन ई इनहेल इट प्रॉपरली इट गोज इन टू द चेस्ट इट विल नॉट गो इन टू द माउथ और द सिस्टम एंड देन बिकॉज ऑफ दैट ही विल नॉट हैव साइड इफेक्ट्स सो ऑल दीज मेडिसिन आर बेटर समटाइम्स पेशेंट आर मोर कम्फर्टेबल गिविंग नेबोलाइजर के डॉक्टर साहब नेबोलाइजर दे देते हैं पर पफ नहीं देंगे क्योंकि उससे तो वो आदत बन जाएगी पर फ्रेंड्स आई वॉन्ट टेल यू दैट नेबोलाइजर है द हाई डोजेज इन मिलीग्राम्स इन ग्राम्स इन मिलीग्राम सो इफ यू गिविंग सम इनहेल्ड स्टीरोड सो इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एनी ड्रग एंड इट इज गिवन इन मिलीग्राम डोजेज इट विल गोल मोर गोल टू ए सिस्टम आपके सिस्टम में जाएगा आपकी सांस की नली में कम जाएगा पर हम उसी दवाई को अगर एक स्पेसर के माध्यम से देंगे तो वो माइक्रोग्राम डोजेस में जाएगा और वो साथ में पफ के जो करेंगे तो वो हमारी सांस की नली में जाएगा तो इससे बच्चे को कोई साइड इफेक्ट नहीं होगा और ये ट्रीटमेंट कुछ टाइम के लिए चलता है जैसे कि कई में कुछ बच्चों को कुछ महीने के लिए देना पड़ता है और हमें तीन महीने पर लंग फंक्शन टेस्ट भी रिपीट करना पड़ता है जब तक कि वो नॉर्मल ना आ जाए कई पेशेंट्स को बार बार लंग फंक्शन टेस्ट की रिक्वायरमेंट होती है कहीं बहुत बेटर हो जाते हैं कईयों को वन ईयर में फुल रिकवरी हो जाती है जिसमें वो दोबारा और रिलैक्स नहीं करते और कई पेशेंट को दो साल भी लग जाते हैं डिपेंडिंग अपॉन देयर एलर्जी लेवल्स तो दिस इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट 
एंड देर अलॉन्ग विद दैट वी टेल दम लॉट ऑफ प्रिकॉशंस कि घर में कोई धूम्रपान ना करे घर में स्टफ टॉयज नहीं होने चाहिए ज़्यादा डॉग के साथ नहीं चले क्योंकि हमारे रिसर्च में ये देखा गया है कि ये सब भी कारण बनते हैं दमे का तो वो बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट है कि हमें इन सब चीज़ों से दूर रहना है एक स्पेशलिस्ट से मिलना है जो स्पेशलाइज टेस्ट हम यहाँ करते हैं वो और जगहों पे अवेलेबल नहीं है दिल्ली में एक आध दो ही जगह होंगे जिसमें अवेलेबिलिटी है वेस्ट एंड नॉर्थ दिल्ली में देर आर नो अदर स्पेशलिस्ट फॉर डूइंग सच टेस्ट वी आर डूइंग स्पेशलाइज टेस्ट अब थ्री ईयर ऑफ द एज ग्रुप एंड इवन द ब्रॉन्कोस्कोपी इन द न्यू बॉर्न सो एनी चाइल्ड विद रिकरेंट रेस्पिरेटरी प्रॉब्लम चेस्ट इन्फेक्शन चाइल्ड हुड एजमा एलर्जीज चाइल्ड हुड ट्यूबोक्लोस आर वेल मैनेज विद एन एप्रोप्रिएट डोसेज so i would suggest that dear friends don't get uh, so much of worried if your child is having problems and we generally think ki delhi se bahar chale jana chahiye kyunki delhi mein to bahut kuch hai india mein bahut kuch hai nahi sir basically aapko vehicle exposure se to bachana hi hai bachche ko par uske alawa apne ghar mein bhi swachhta lani hai dusting maar baar jaise hum kehte hain wet mopping karna hai aur vacuum cleaning karna hai लाइट आनी चाहिए वेंटिलेशन आनी चाहिए बच्चे आउटडोर एक्टिविटी कर सकते हैं तो जो बच्चे बार बार साइनस के शिकार हैं एलर्जी के शिकार हैं वो बेचारे स्विमिंग नहीं कर पाते पर हम उनको तब भी कर कहते हैं कि करने के लिए पहले हम उनकी साइनोसाइटिस को कंट्रोल करते हैं उनकी एलर्जीज को कंट्रोल करते हैं और उसके बाद उनको हर एक्सरसाइज या फिर हर वो अच्छी एक्टिविटी कर सकते हैं जो वो चाहते हैं तो हम अपने बच्चों को लेट्स नॉट बिरेव ऑफ दीज एक्सरसाइज दी स्पोर्ट्स एंड द स्विमिंग लेट्स गेट दम ट्रीटेड एप्रोप्रिएटली ओवर एंड विद अस एंड देन लेट देम हैव अ हेल्दी लाइफ थैंक यू